Hello, amazing friends. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to solve this Harvard exam. Question is just very simple, okay? There are a lot of methods you can use to solve this. So let me know your own approach in the comments. But if you don't know what to do, join me as I show you the best tip, okay? Now, remember, at the end of our solving, we are going to check for our solution. It's going to be amazing. Now, to answer this, we are given this to find the values of X and Y. Now, when a mathematics involves solving for two unknowns, X and Y, just know that such equation or equations is likely to lead you to system of equation or what we call simultaneous equation. Now, let's see to that. So, we're going to begin this question with solution, okay? Now, what do you do? Let's repeat what we have. So, we have 3 to the power of X minus 3 to the power of Y is equal to 3. For this, let me remind you of something, that when you have a to the power of m multiplied by this, it gives you a to the power of m plus n. Multiplication turns to addition, okay? Now, let's see how it will help us here. So, for this, we can use this rule to give us 3 to the power of x, then multiply it. Let's use dot for multiplication. 3 to the power of y is equal to this 3 interesting now we can label this equation one and this is equation two so what do you do at this point you observe that three to the power of x is here and is also here then three to the power of y is here and is also here so you can choose to use another variable to replace it for easy solving okay so let's choose to use so in that case we can choose to use variable like let's say let's let 3 to the power of x be variable m okay you can choose your own then we can also have it that 3 to the power of y let it be variable n now what do you do instead of you to write this replace it with m so we're going to have m then minus this will give us we are replacing it with n and is equal to 3 this is still equation 1 okay so here we're going to have m multiplied by n is equal to 3 and this is equation 2 so what do you do at this point we are going to use our substitution method for solving system of equation so in that case we can say let m from equation 1 we can have it from equation 1 that make m subjects okay so we have it that m minus n is equal to 3 now what do you do to make m subject m will be equal to 3 this negative n we have to leave this position and in that case because it's negative we are going to add so we add and when you do that it becomes plus n did you see that so we're going to now have this is now our m so if this is m what do you do with this m we are going to now put this m back in equation 2 Remember, you made it subject from equation 1. So if you want to put it back, you put it back in equation 2 and vice versa. Okay? So we're going to put our M into equation 2. Interesting. So this is going to give us, instead of writing M, I'm writing 3 plus N. I hope you are with me. Remember, this 3 plus N is serving, is an expression representing M. So in that case, I'm going to put it in brackets. Okay, then multiply by n is equal to 3. I hope you are with me. Now, this can still be rewritten. We can write this as, let's take it to this part. We can write this as n into 3 plus n is equal to 3. This and this are the same. Okay, so we easily use this to expand this. So if you do that, you are going to have this multiplies will give us 3n. This multiplies this will give us n squared, and this is equal to 3. So what do you do again? You will observe that this is leading you to quadratic because the highest power of n here is 2. So let's make it look beautiful. To begin it with n squared, followed by this is positive, so it becomes plus 3n. Okay? Now this 3, we want to remove it, and because it's positive, you subtract. So we're going to subtract 3 from both sides. And when you subtract 3 here, you have 0 left. So having gotten this quadratic equation, 
you are free to use any method you like but in this tutorial i'm going to teach you how to use the formula method okay remember for your formula method your n is negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a so we are going to have it as our a from the formula is the coefficient of n squared okay remember this quadratic equation that ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero it is from this that we generated this formula so your a is always the coefficient of n squared just like you have it here. so we can have it that our a is one because the coefficient of n squared here is one okay then what is your n your b is three watch this so our b is three and our c is negative three so let's plug this into this formula okay so you to do that you are going to have n is going to be negative our b is three so we have negative three plus or minus square root of three squared minus four our a is one then we multiply it by our c which is negative three i hope you are with me all over then two multiply by one so if you simplify this we have let's rule out this so our n is going to give us negative three plus or minus square root of three squared is three times three to give us nine multiply this we have positive 12 all over this is giving us two so we're having our n is equal to negative three plus or minus add this it gives us 21 okay all over two did you see that so what it means here is that remember this is a prime sword it can't be reduced anymore so in that case our n is going to be negative three plus root 21 all over two okay this is the first value of n then the second value of n is going to give us negative three minus square root of 21 all over two i hope this is clear okay now that we've gotten these two values of n we are going to now put it back to get the value of a m remember this we made a statement that three to the power of y is n okay we want to make a rejection and accept now you observe that the first value of n is this and this is the second value but remember this is three and is a positive base now if you simplify this you are going to observe that your answer is going to be greater than zero i hope you are with me but if you simplify this your answer is going to be less than zero so if it is less than zero and you know that the base we have here is positive in that case this solution is not going to be accepted i hope this is clear because it is less than zero and the base is positive i hope this is clear so in that case we are only going to use this value of n to get the value of a m so we have it that our m is equal to three plus n i hope you still remember when we made this statement so in that case we are going to use this value which we have accepted to substitute here so we're going to have m is equal to three plus what we have here so we have negative three plus root 21 all over two okay so we can make this to be over one and in that case we have it that our m is equal to the lcm is you are going to use two as the lcm so just the trick is use this to multiply okay this multiplies this will give us six I hope you help me use one to multiply and it's multiplying everything so it's going to give us negative three plus root 21 okay all over then multiply the denominator this is going to give us two so we have it that our m is equal to this is going to give us three plus root 21 all over two okay this becomes the value of our m now remember the question is on x and y we've been able to get the values of m and n so we are going to now substitute these two values in this to get the actual values of x and y so let's take this our value of n up so we have n will now be negative 3 plus root 21 all over 2 okay so we're going to now substitute them here and if you do that this is what we're going to now have we are going to do a recall 
that when a we have three x is equal to m did you see that so we're going to now have this is our m so it's going to be three to the power of x is equal to three plus root 21 all over two now what do you do we are just going to take the log of both sides so we have log of three to the power of x is equal to log of three plus root 21 all over two so you remember a rule of logarithm that says that when you have log of a to the power of x you use the x to multiply so it becomes x log a okay so if you apply it here this will multiply so we're going to now have this giving us x log 3 is equal to log of 3 plus root 21 all over 2. So to get our x, you divide by log 3, which is the coefficient. I hope you are there. So this we cancel. Then we are having x is equal to log of 3 plus root 21 over 2 divided by log of 3. Now, remember another rule of logarithm that says that let's read this so we have the rule says that if you have log of a divided by log of b it is simply log of a then this b becomes the base okay so let this be our guide now to simplify this we're going to have it that x is equal to log of this becomes our a so we have log of 3 plus root 21 all over 2 okay then this 3 here becomes the base so this is what we have now this becomes the value of our x repeating the same process we are going to have for y this is giving us 3 to the power of y is equal to our n from what we have is this so we have negative 3 plus root 21 over 2 okay so as usual, you take the log of both sides. So we have log of 3 to the power of y is log of, so we have log of negative 3 plus root 21 all over 2. Okay, so as you know that this multiplies, so we have y log 3 is equal to log of negative 3 plus root 21 all over 2. So we have it as, we have y is equal to log of negative 3 plus root 21 over 2 divided by log of 3 okay so in that case we are going to have y is equal to remember the rule we applied here so we're going to have log of negative 3 plus root 21 over 2 is is having a base 3 so this becomes the value of a uh, y and this is our value of uh, x. Okay, now we've gotten this. We're going to now do a check to know if we're going to have, but in this check, I'm only going to check in one of the equations, okay? So you can try the second one and let's know your finding. So to check, we're going to now have three to the power of x. So we have three, this is our x. So we're going to have log of three plus root 21 then base 3. Remember, this is over 2. Okay. Then minus 3 to the power of our y is this. So we have log of negative 3 plus root 21 all over 2. Then base 3. We want to see if it will be equal to this 3. Okay. So let's simplify this. But before you do that, let me remind you of this rule that will guide us, which says that if you have a to the power of log of x base a, if the base of the log and the general base are the same, your answer simply becomes this x. So this is going to guide us as we answer this, okay? So in that case, you observe that this is 3 and here is 3. So because they are the same, our answer is going to be here. We are going to have 3 plus root 21 all over 2, okay? Then bring down your subtraction sign. This and this are the same. So we are going to have negative 3 plus root 21 all over 2. Now you have to be very careful at this point because you can see the sign here is subtraction. 
okay so we're going to take the lcm is also two so we're going to have two here is one multiply this it gives us three plus root 21 okay then two here is also one then use that one to multiply remember this is negative so you're using negative one to multiply everything and when negative one multiplies this it gives you positive three if it multiplies this negative one multiplies it gives us negative root 21 did you see the trick there so we're going to now have three plus three will give us six and this minus this is gone did you see that so we're having six and this six is divided by two and when you divide six by two you see it gives you three and this three is what you have at the right side so you see that our value for x and y is correct when we checked for equation one so you can try this equation too let's discuss your findings in the comments and if this tutorial really helps you let's know how much in the comment remember sharing this will help more people to understand or grab the skill with this especially those that see this as challenging don't forget to subscribe for the more tips see you in our next class bye bye